Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and the new iOS 18 is finally here bringing a ton of new features and changes. Now, some of the most exciting features and changes are the ones on the home screen, letting you customize your home screen more than ever before. And you can see right here what you can do with iOS 18. You can create amazing setups that will fit your taste and your needs in a couple of minutes. It's actually very easy to do. Everything that has been done here has been done using just the features on iOS 18. So in the today's video, I will show you guys how to create your ultimate setup for the home screen of your iOS 18 device. I have a few like different setups that I will show you guys how to create step by step. That way you will learn how to create your own setup on the home screen of your iPhone. Now I have done here three different setups with like three different themes I have to say. So this one right here uses a wallpaper, which is in this case, this one with a car right there. Now what we're doing here is using the tint option of iOS 18, also placing the icons just on this part right here where we have like a blank space on the wallpaper. So basically to create the setup, we're combining the icons with the wallpaper. Now for you, in your case, that might be maybe you have a blank space right here, you can place the icons at the bottom, or maybe just on this side, maybe just in the middle, or maybe you can even place the icons around an object that you have on your home screen. So we're basically focusing the setup on the wallpaper and on the object that we want to have on the wallpaper. But of course, again, based on your object, the wallpaper that you're using, you can just place the icons anywhere you want. So if I would have the subject anywhere else, I can of course just move around the icons and have the blank space where the subject of the wallpaper is. Now that you have done that, what I suggest you do is go ahead and go to the edit mode right here. You tap on edit, you go customize, and then you go ahead and go to tint. Now this will automatically tint your icons. In this case with this wallpaper, you can see that the dominant color there is that light green. So if I tap on tint, it would actually do that. It would add that tint. But in my opinion, it doesn't look that good. So I have to change that. So what I can do here is again, go to customize, go to tint, but pick now the color picker. And now I can go ahead and select a color right there from the wallpaper, which is that orange one right there. And you can see now it combines a way better. That way the subject of the wallpaper is standing out we have the icons right here on the blank space, of course the dock right there, and it looks pretty cool. And as you can see, we also have removed the labels with the large icon option right here. So again, edit, customize, you tap on large, that way you have bigger icons, but it also removes the labels, so you get an extra clean look on your home screen setup. Next up, we have a very minimal and very clean setup on the home screen. And this one is also very easy to achieve with iOS 18. Now, the only extra thing that you will need here is to have the app to add that widget right there. The app is free. I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video. So here's what I'm doing here. All I have done is use this wallpaper, which actually goes very well with the dark icons and the widget right there. So depending on the widget that you use, and you can also go ahead and choose a wallpaper that might look similar to this or maybe even different, but it has to look good with the widget right there. And of course, it'd be a bit minimal, so it has that clean look on the home screen. So first of all, what I've done here is go to the edit mode and from here, go to customize. I just chose here dark icons and switch to large icons that way we have the clean look on the home screen without any labels. Hopefully in the future, Apple will allow us to do that even with the small version of icons. Now, all we have to do is go ahead and add the widget. So again, you can just add the widget from the app. So tap on edit, add the widget, and then we have the app. It is called MD widgets. Go ahead and add the large widget right there to your home screen. And once you have done that, what you have to do is just send your device to the edit mode by tapping and holding the screen here and then swipe from the right to the left. And on this page right here, take a screenshot. 
Now what you need to do is go back into the MD Widgets app. On the app, all you have to do is go to the settings right here and then tap on set transparent background. Once you go here, you tap right there and you just load the screenshot you just took. Now you're good to go. Now you go back, you can go into the gallery right here and pick any of the widgets that you want to add to your home screen. You will have different categories there. And once you have picked a widget, you can go ahead and customize it now. So if you want to have that transparent look, which I suggest you do, it will look way better on the home screen, much, much cleaner. Then go ahead and go to background right here and just choose transparent. And now you're good to go. And there you go. You don't need to do anything else anymore. All you have to do now is add it to your home screen. And you will get, of course, that nice clean look that I just showed you guys at the beginning of this section. And last but not least is the what I call the split look. Now this is one of my favorites. All you have to do for this to work and of course get this amazing setup really nice looking on your home screen. Just go to Google or any of the wallpaper apps that you might have on your device and search for dual wallpapers for iPhone or dual wallpapers or split color wallpapers or something like that. And you will get a ton of these wallpapers that are basically split in half. All you have to do in this case is just go ahead and set the wallpaper on your home screen and then you can just move the icons to one side. In this case, we have this wallpaper, which is totally black in this side and it has multiple colors there. It looks amazing. And now all we have to do here is just do some simple customization, tap the edit button. Again, as you can see, we have used the large icons to remove the labels and we have used dark icons, but we can also tint this. And as you can see, it will darken the wallpaper. You tap right there if you want to undo that. And as you can see, it has tinted them with that green color, but always we can change that. So we can just go ahead and go with that yellow one or maybe with that red one right there. Just make it a bit lighter. And as you can see, we have this amazing looking setup where we have the split icons just split on one side. We have blank space on the other side. It actually looks pretty amazing. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. This is your guide to creating your ultimate home screen setup on iOS 18. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you're enjoying the new iOS 18 and all the cool new features that it has brought to iOS. Again, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I will see you on the next one.